really cool as usual. This month the CDC was like, hey, guess what? We did this 28 year long study and we found out that 99% of hetero women use birth control at some point in their lives. 90 friggin' 9% regardless of background, regardless of religious beliefs, which totally makes sense because when you think about it, people engage with their sexuality all throughout their lifetime, which often includes forms of sex that can get you pregnant. People have sex an average of 5,100 times in their life. But you're not having 5,100 babies, hopefully. If you're like most people, you probably just wanna have one baby or two babies or three babies or maybe no babies at all, which is why birth control is an essential part of our health. It's an essential part of our lives. So we asked you guys to submit responses about the role that birth control plays in your lives and here's what y'all had to say. I use birth control for a peace of mind. I actually have never had sex before. I have not made my sexual debut yet, but I do actually have implant on, which is the birth control implant. Also what I love about it is that you really don't have much of a period when you go on it. When I was ready, I just went up to my mom and I said, Mom, I'm having sex right now and I wanted to start birth control. And my mom was very open, calm, supportive about it. Everything went nicely and I still use birth control to this day and I've had a lot of sex in my day, <laughs> not gonna lie, and it has worked every time. Not that I haven't ever not used condoms. I use it for uh, regulating my periods. I grew up like with really awful, awful periods, like dreading that time of the month, and I was prescribed birth control. Ever since I started taking birth control, my periods have been significantly less painful and I've been able to do things. Actually really good and it's been really helpful for me. I use it to not get pregnant because I am 19 years old and a baby w would not be uh, good. It's just a peace of mind uh, being able to know that I'm happy and healthy. Thank you guys for sharing your stories. You are awesome. To me, it's great to hear people's personal stories with birth control, especially as controversies continue to swirl around whether or not birth control should be a part of comprehensive medical care in the US. I mean, remember last year when Rush Limbaugh called Sandra Fluck a big slut who just wants Americans to pay their hard-earned money so that she can have sex. Yeah, man, that was bullshit. And here's why I think so. For one, like May talked about, contraceptives aren't just used to prevent pregnancy. They're also used as an acne medication to treat PCOS, to treat dysmenorrhea, aka periods from hell. By removing birth control from the healthcare slate, we also deny all of these people access to their medication. Two, is that given that sex is a natural, common, normal part of life, the right to control whether or not you get pregnant is some of the most basic healthcare that there is. Unless, of course, Rush Limbaugh believes that all women should be abstinent, which would be very ironic given that I haven't heard him say a peep about free vasectomies. But even if none of that mattered to Rush Limbaugh or any of the extremists like him, there's still the pure numbers. Distributing free birth control to anyone who wants it is a far cry from expensive. In fact, it's the exact opposite. It's basic economics. Birth control is cheaper than an unplanned pregnancy. Gumacha found that if we spent $235 million on distributing free birth control, Control, we would immediately save 1.3 billion dollars. Did I mention that free birth control cuts down on the number of unprepared parents as well as the number of abortions? Yeah. So here's a naked notion. Birth control. Free, widely available, easily accessible to anybody who wants it. The fact that this is still controversial to extremists who claim to care about saving money is pretty telling. It's obviously not about saving money at all. It's about sex and it's about bodily independence, namely a dislike of the two. But that's just my take, of course. Y'all are free to disagree. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And hey, we'll be back again with another Naked Notion next week. Mwah.